What's up, YouTube? It's your boy AJ back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Seifu, Seifu X, and Brian Legend, but more specifically about what it takes to be an entrepreneur. So let's get into it. There are many of you guys investing in Seifu, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard about all of the FUD that's been going around about Brian's past that's resurfacing because of the Dubai event, but I just wanted to add some positive light to this situation. One thing I've noticed in crypto is that you're not allowed to fail. When you look at any other segment outside of crypto, you can fail. But in crypto, if you fail, you're automatically a scammer. I'm like, that's crazy to me. And I feel like the mindset of people in crypto just needs to change in general. Because speaking from an entrepreneurial standpoint, it's hard as hell to manage anything, let alone run a whole company as well as a team. So I give all respect to Brian. And it's okay that his past projects fail because I'm calling them failures because that's what they are. It happens. I guess when I look at people in crypto, they get into the mindset that it's a one man show. One man runs the whole show. That's never been the case. Not one company has succeeded without having someone in the background doing some work. You got to have a team. One person may have came up with the ideal, but the execution part comes from a team. And that's what a lot of investors and a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people don't want to understand. I mean, they understand that it's not a one man show, but they don't want to understand it. So I'm just shedding some light on that. It's all about a team. There's no I in team. All right. So when you look at Brian's past, maybe he didn't have the right team. We don't know that. It's irrelevant at this point, too. But I'm just saying it's all about the team. If you formulated a team, the team didn't succeed the project fail. Unfortunately, as the CEO, you're the face of the brand, so you have to take all the heat. That's what you signed up for, so you have to take it as it comes. But I respect the grit that Brian displays, and for some of you guys that don't know what grit is, it's a very common terminology in entrepreneurship, but the real question is, why is it so important? The journey of entrepreneurship is filled with setback, losses, failures, and wins, especially as a startup founder. As an entrepreneur, you need more than just a business ideal, talent, resources, or a great team to succeed. Having and working with the right mindset is essential. All right, so that sums it up. That says it all. You have to want to succeed, you know, more than anything. I mean, just having everything around you doesn't matter. You have to actually put in the overtime, you know, burn the midnight oil, use your 24 hours. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, we all got the same 24 hours in a day. It's all about how you utilize yours. That's a big saying I always say. And it's a lot of entrepreneurs that say that too. And that's the reason why they're succeeding in life. So you go down what this grit means. There are several ways to define grit. But all definitions boil down to two qualities. Passion and resilience. Simply put, grit refers to unrelenting perseverance and a strong passion for a goal mostly long term even in the face of significant challenges setbacks and distractions all right so just by reading that line right there you can easily say that this is safe food right now all right so other things in the past live and learn from he formulated the idea to create something more sustainable and long term which is what we in right now all right, so I like to make this comparison with Seifu to, um, to Elon Musk and SpaceX. The reason being because in grad school, I did a research paper on SpaceX, and I didn't realize how many times they fail before they got it right. So you can easily say that Brian's background and his current venture kind of aligns with SpaceX and Elon Musk. So let's go to SpaceX. SpaceX successfully lands Starship rocket after four failed attempts. All right, so we see that SpaceX failed. All right, and you can easily say this probably was a scam or was just a regular failure. In crypto, this would have been labeled as a scam. And you got to look at it from this standpoint. There were billions and billions and billions of dollars invested into this for it to fail continuously. But... It's all about grit. It's all about resiliency. All right. He bounced back, got it right, 
and look at where we are today. SpaceX is still succeeding. They're partnering with NASA, got partners all over the world. They got a lot of things going for themselves. And so let's look at why they succeeded. That's because the fourth launch succeeded, reportedly due to engineers changing a single line of code to fix the problem from the third attempt. The success helped SpaceX land a commercial contract with NASA valued at $1.6 billion, extending the young company a lifeline. Elon Musk explained to himself, it was all about the team. All right. He emphasized engineers. It was all about one single line of code. So for a lot of you guys that are still thinking that Safe was ran by a one man show, you might want to change your train of thought because the success of your company is highly dependent on the success of your team and how well your team works together to actually find a common resolution to a problem. And I just wanted to highlight that because there's so many people out there that just want to tear this project down. And forget Brian's past. Just look at what he's built. He's built Seifu. We have Seifu X. Seifu X will be sponsoring the crypto event in Dubai, as you see right here. Seifu X. All right. Confirm sponsors. So that shouldn't be any more negative energy coming towards, you know, this protocol because you're going to Dubai. People there are all about money. They have the resources and they're not just going to invite anybody in to be a sponsor. Even if you pay the money, you still got to go through a vetting process. I just feel like some people need to take a step back, reassess their investment. Because there's so many people that I've noticed in Discord second guessing themselves on whether this project is going to be rug pull or not. I look at it like this. Once you move forward and especially go to this magnitude to actually want to be a sponsor at a large crypto event, you have to go forward. There's no other way around it. You can't go backwards. You can't stay stagnant. You have to go forward. Looking at this right here should give more people confidence that this project is here to stay for a long term. All right. So instead of just looking at it, so many mainstream tokens out there. So going back to what I said earlier, it is hard to succeed in crypto. To hit one year in crypto, it's like hitting five to 10 years in any other segment because there's a lot of money being moved around all the time. You just never know when the price is going to go up or down. You just never know when the contract balance is going to run out. There are just way too many variables. And Seifu has been doing good, you know, maintaining stability. Even though price went all the way up, price went down, it happens. Look at Bitcoin, look at Ethereum, look at Binance. That happens even in the stock market. Don't matter. But the biggest question is, can you stay sustainable throughout the lifetime of your protocol or throughout the lifetime of your liquidity lock? Those are the only thing that matters. And I feel like Seifu is far along on that path and they're well within reach of maintaining it, looking at the liquidity that they have out there right now, the treasury that they have, the fire pick that's burning these tokens and taking them out of circulation. That's just a lot of great things out there. But I just want to talk to you guys about these few elements. I'm going to cut this video short. Please like, comment, subscribe. Holla at your boy. I'm out. Peace.